All right, this is the very basic ab exercise to build the deepest belly strength to support the lower back if you're starting from scratch and haven't been doing core strength for a while or ever. So um, this is going to be laying on your back with knees bent. And the first few instructions, you're not really going to be able to see me do because it's a, such a subtle, small movement of bringing the lower back into the floor. And what you're trying to do is discern and differentiate between drawing the lower back to the floor by squeezing the buttocks and lifting the hips. And the other way to do it is with those muscles deep in the belly called the transversus abdominis. If you cough, you can locate them because <coughs> they help expel stuff from the lungs or from the digestive system or during childbirth can be up or down. So if you cough, <coughs> you'll feel that muscle and you want to try to find that muscle drawing the lower back down to the floor, belly drawing down, lower back down. Can you do that without squeezing the buttocks? That's the first thing you're going to try to do. Now, one way to know that you're succeeding is to stabilize the hip bones. So put your fingers on your hip bones, relax everything. Don't do any of those movements that bring the lower back down, just relax. And then with the hands feeling your hip bones, do little marching steps, one foot up, other foot up. You feel the hip bones that stick out on either side in front, you feel them moving in response. So next, you wanna do that lower back down to the floor, engage those deep belly muscles, press the lower back down, and then do those marching steps and try to stop the movement of the hip bones, or at least minimize it. Don't forget to breathe. Sometimes when we focus on things, a lot, we hold our breath. Good. And then the next one we'll do is holding that lower back down. We're gonna do a crunch, and then we're gonna push one hand palm into the opposite thigh and thigh into the palm. Push them into each other, release, rest. And then another crunch, let's do the other side, palm into the opposite thigh, thigh into the palm, they're pushing into each other, ah, rest. So you can do that a few times, it might be easier on the exhalation, so deep breath, exhale, they're pushing into each other, and then the other side. You'll feel the arm working, the leg working, and the abdominal. Good. And then even more challenging is if you do both. So with the, your crunch on the exhalation, cross the arms, lift the feet up, and push into those thighs, thighs into the hands. And rest. You can hug the knees in. When those become easy, then you can add like a yoga, yogic bicycle might be your next thing. That could be on the exhalation too. Opposite knee and elbow together. Good. And then another one that's a good basic one to do anytime is both knees and elbows drawing together. You can try to lift the tailbone up. And in all of those movements, the butt muscles cannot relax, or I mean, cannot tighten. They have no choice but to relax because you're doing flex hip flexion. So um, that's the basic ab stuff. Try those until they're easy. 
And then you can try one of my other videos on my YouTube channel, like the fish out of water. Um, there's a core strengthening combo where you're on your belly. Try those other ones. Enjoy. Really good for the lower back.